this video segment for creating pop-out decals, we're going to show you how to set up the plotter. Now there are three areas in which we'll cover in order to do this. The first area is the blade setup. We're going to be using a new feature called Blade Navigator that's found in the FC7000. This allows you to accurately set up the extension of the blade so that it cuts through the vinyl and the backing without damaging your Teflon mat nor your blade. The second area we're going to be covering is condition setup. We're going to set up condition one for cutting your vinyl or the top layer of the vinyl. And condition two we're going to be set up for cutting completely through the backing, which means we're going to have to enable the perf line feature for condition two, and this will be explained. The third area is that we want the plotter so that it can accept all the commands and have full control from cutting master two. And we're going to show you how to set up these plotter settings. In setting up our blade using Blade Length Navigator, we need to do a couple things. First, we need to retract the blade and place it in the holder. Next thing we need to do is obtain the thickness of our media. And I'm talking about the total thickness from the top to the backing. Because remember, we're going to be cutting completely through this media. And then, of course, we want to open our Blade Length Navigator. Now, in order to do this, we need to just press Test, press F1, Blade Adjust, and then press Enter and what it'll do, the plot it'll do, is it'll actually snap down the blade up and down and then place it firmly down onto the material. Now the goals to the blade extension are this, is that we want it to cut through the backing of the media but not too far to where it'll damage the, either the blade or the Teflon mat. As you can see here, we want it to extend just the thickness of both the top and bottom layers of the media that you're cutting. Once we're into the blade length navigator, we want to go ahead and start extending the blade. And I do this by turning the blue knob clockwise to extend the blade. And remember, since my material is six mils thick, I want to extend it just above and beyond that, maybe seven. And then that way it'll have a perfect cut. We don't have to be super accurate on this, just enough to cut through the material. Next, we need to enable the perf line feature and assign it to condition 2. And the way we do this is first we press menu and then press next twice. And then we press F3 for function 1 and then F1 for perf line. Once we are there, we'll have to press F2 to assign or have a condition that the pattern is going to be assigned to. In this, in this case, I'm going to choose condition 2 and I do this by pressing the up or down arrow key. Next, I press F3 which will allow me to assign a pattern to that condition. Once I've assigned the pattern, then I go ahead and press enter and that accepts the pattern. And from now on, any time condition 2 is being used, it will do an, uh, it will create a perf pattern. Now here's a tip. There are seven types of perf patterns that you can use. And I generally like you working with patterns 1 through 4. When I'm using like vinyl or 2-ply, where it's an adhesive back material such as paper or vinyl, but you have to use the one that works for you and the way you do this is just by trial and error. Test the pattern that works best. That's why we assign, allow you to assign a perf line to each condition so that you can take that media and assign it to the perfect perf line that you need to, in order to cut completely through. Next we want to perform a test cut but before we do that we want to set up our conditions. Now here's how we set it up. Condition 1, we want to set the force to start at 16 because this is the force or this is the condition we're going to use to cut through the top layer. And then we start at 16 and increase the value. Maybe we want to set the speed to 30. Now condition 2 is a little bit more critical because we want to set the force at maybe 38 and start from there and then increase the value until we cut through. But try to stay under the force of 42 because otherwise it can create little um, problems, especially if you're using material that's very soft and supple. But if you feel that you need to, you're still not cutting through, but you're at 42, just go ahead and extend the blade at maybe an eighth of a turn, and then do another test, and keep doing that until you finally cut through the material. The results should be as follows, where once it's cut, you bring it out, you want to make put a slight force from behind and that slight force should just be enough to just pop the material through as you can see here and that way you'll get a perfect cut. Next, record those values after you've done all your testing the force, the speed, 
and possibly the quality and also the condition. If you're not using condition one and two, record the condition that you're going to do because you're going to enter these values into Cutting Master 2 so the Cutting Master 2 can control when it's switching between cutting just the top layer and cutting all the way through. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.